The Magician's Land by Lev Grossman, Chapter 5 Elliot frowned. The Lorian champion was a squat fellow, practically as wide as he was tall and some slightly different ethnic background from most of his compatriots. The Lorians were Vikings, basically Thor types. Tall, long blonde hair, big chins, big chests, big beards. But this character came in about five foot six, with a shaved head and a fat round Buddha face, like a soup dumpling and a significant admixture of some Asiatic DNA. He was stripped to the waist, even though it was about 40 degrees out, and his latte-colored skin was oiled all over. Maybe he was just really sweaty. The champion's heavy round gut hung down over his waistband, but he was still a pretty scary-looking bastard. He had a huge saddle of muscle across his upper back, and his biceps were like thighs, and there must have been some muscle in there just by volume, even if they did look kind of chubby. His weapon was weird-looking enough, a polearm with a big curvy cross of sharp metal on the end, that you just knew he could do something really outstandingly dangerous with it. When he stepped forward, the Lorian army went nuts for him. They bashed their swords and shields together and looked at each other as if to say, Yes, he may look a little funny, but our fellow is definitely going to kill the other fellow's fellow. So three cheers for him by Krom or whoever it is we worship. It almost made you like them, the Lorians. They were more multicultural than you would have thought. Though there was no chance that their champion was actually going to kill the Falorian champion, Elliot's champion. Because Elliot's champion was Elliot. There had been some debate when the idea was first mooted about whether it made sense to send the High King of Fillory into single combat with the hand-picked designated hitter of the invading Lorian army. But it rapidly became clear that Elliot was set on it, though his reasons were as much personal as they were tactical. He had begun his stint as High King in a rather decadent vein. Louche, you might even say. But as his reign lengthened, he had grown into the role and become more serious about it. And it was time that he showed everybody, himself included, how serious he was. Kingship was not an affectation. It was who he was. Very publicly. Very literally. He was going to put some skin in the game.